Elegant Title Animation Video Number One. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create one text, whatever you want. I am going to type minimal title. Select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press S for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size, like somewhere around like this. Select this text, press V to select your selection tool and let's move this over here and go to the character menu and i'm going to choose white color for this text font is poppins and the version of this font is bold then select this text press ctrl d to duplicate it press v and let's bring this downwards hit ctrl t to select your text tool again and type animation like this hit ctrl a and now we are going to change the version of this one to light like this now select this text press ctrl alt to align that anchor point to the center and let's move them somewhere around over here hit ctrl a press v and let's adjust it somewhere around like this now we will create some extra stuff so let's click select your rectangle tool and for the fill color i'm going to choose somewhere around bluish color and simply hit ok and then create one background like this then press ctrl alt home and let's delete this stroke because we don't want that so yeah select this shape layer press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center and let's bring this downwards like this let's move this a little bit over here like this select this shape layer press s unlink this and let's initial make it zero create one keyframe over here let's zoom in a little bit and go to around 1.20 frames and let's make this 100 like this now select those keyframe, hit F9, go to the graph editor. Let's select this graph by holding shift. Let's move this handle over here and this handle over here like this. So we will get this kind of animation. Okay, now this animation is done. Now we have to focus on our text animation. So let's select this minimal text. Let's go inside this animate. I'm going to choose position and let's decrease this value up to let's say 40 and go to the range selector create one keyframe at the start go to around 1.20 frames and let's make this 100 like this again go to the add menu go to the property and choose opacity and let's make this zero and go to the add choose property and choose blur and increase the blur value to 50 so if you're gonna see you will get this kind of animation now select those keyframe hit f9 again go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift let's move this handle over here and this handle over here like this so we will get this kind of animation now hit u uh, let's select this minimal text let's go few frame forwards and now i want this animations to start from here so i'll move this somewhere around over here so the animation will start from here now we will select this animation text and we will bring this downward press p for position let's create one keyframe over here go to around 1.20 frames create another keyframe go to the start and let's move this over here select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift just simply move this over here and now let's go somewhere around over here and now i'm going to select this animation and i'll move this thing up to over here then it will animate after this okay and go, let's go to the last keyframe and i'm gonna bring this a little bit downwards like this you can select this minimal title and move this over here like this then select the shape layer press p and let's move this over here now select the shape layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i now i don't want any fill so i'll delete this fill and for the stroke i'm going to choose white color and simply hit ok and let's choose two pixels width and we'll move this somewhere around over here like this and let's move this a little bit over here so it will start to animate after our main animation like this now hit ctrl a to select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's call it as main title and hit ok and go to the effect and presets panel and now we need to search for one effect called transform so simply double click to apply and you can increase the skew value or decrease let's you can make this minus 5 so we are gonna get something like this so yep in video number one we have created this kind of title animation
so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned